a second charity football match will take place in May to raise money for those who helped injured Cambridge United fan Simon Dobbin. It's four years since Dabo, 45, was left hospital paralyzed from the neck down, unable to walk or talk when he away ambushed by thugs during an away game. Despite DIY SOS transforming the Mildenhall dad's home with specialist facilities, he still requires round-the-clock care, provided by his wife Nicole Dobbin and visiting carers. But the costs of providing this are ongoing and without the help of strangers, especially in the beginning, Nicole admits the family would have been unable to cope with the cost of household bills. Nicole told Cambridge Sure Life she now wants to give back to the complete strangers who supported her and enabled her to stay by Dabo's bedside. Cambridge fan Simon Dobbin with wife Nicole at Cambridge United for the game against Portsmouth, the 16th of October 29, image, Warren Gunn, giving back to those who helped Simon Dobbin this include the Ryan Smith Foundation, set up by a Lincolnshire family whose son suffered severe brain injuries in a bicycle crash and the family of cerebral palsy sufferer Owen Coleman who volunteered during the DIY SOS renovation work. Nicole, 47, who has had to give up work to care for Simon said, The Ryan Smith family really supported me financially and especially with what to expect with Simon when he came out of a coma. This match will be the first time we have met them. And Owen's dad gave up nine days paid work to help us on DIY SOS, flyer for forthcoming Simon Dobbin charity football match. Nicole says she is also keen to team up again with Dave Botwood Easton, who organized the first charity match for Dabo in 2017. The first charity match was a year in planning and from that we have gone on to be really good friends, she said. Together they hope to the football match and Family Fun Day will raise at least £5,000 for the two charities. The pair have also set up a Just Giving page for people to donate what they can. Nicole says that her only regret is that her mum, who sadly passed away in July, will not be there to on the big day, at Ely City Football Club on May 12. The kindness of strangers fellow youth fan Dave Botwood Easton, 35, from Eldrith, organized the first charity game for the Dobbins in 2017 and has been a driving force through this latest project. He said, it was a huge success and we hadn't met the family before that day, but seeing what he and his family went through I wanted to try and do something to help bring some smiles to their faces. They all had a great time and since then we have been visiting them all and become good friends. They were the ones that wanted to do another. The lineup for my side is mostly fans and the ex-players have mentioned earlier and awaiting for a couple more to get back. In touch, Dave's team will include ex-Cambridge United and Peterborough defender Dean Hooper, ex-Cambridge United midfielder Rob Wollaston, Cambridge United legend John, Shaggy, Taylor and a few more to be added once confirmed. They will take on the Arsenal charity team on May 12, at Ely City FC, for a 1pm kickoff.